Hi, you guys. What's up? Welcome to today's vlog. It's been so long since I vlogged. I think the last time I vlogged was like middle of October, and now it's like almost the middle of November. I've been just like living life, but I have been on TikTok. I've been like uploading on TikTok more than YouTube, but follow me on TikTok, guys, if you're, if you're on TikTok. I'm trying to upload there every day. But today, I am getting ready for me and Derek's birthday brunch. So I'm bringing you guys along for that. So I'm excited to get back to vlogging because I feel like I miss it. I feel like I miss sharing and just, you know, recording what's going on in our life, what's going on in our life. So Derek's birthday was yesterday, the 9th, and my birthday was the 5th. So we are getting together with our family, do a little brunch. So things are like kind of together, but also not together. I'm gonna bring you guys along while I get things together. I just put the apple croissants in the oven. I'm making like the Starbucks apple croissants. I made the bacon. I burnt the first half of bacon of the bacon. I cooked it in the oven for the first time. So a little dark. Um, I'm about to make Brussels sprouts, mini pancakes, and um, what else have to do? I'm gonna make these little egg things. My sister sent me these little egg cups. I'll show you guys when I make it. But hey guys, how are you? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you guys are having a good November so far. If you guys are ready for Christmas. I'm ready to put my tree up like today and I might actually put it up today. But yeah, just let me know what's going on in your life. Let me show you guys something though. Um, I had Derek hang up these shelves. They're over here. Okay, so as I was trying to start decorating these shelves last night and I brought my gingerbread man over here so that little cookie jar and the head just rolled off on the ground. I'm so mad. Derek had to run to the store this morning so I asked him to get another one and they were sold out. But I can't order it online so when I order groceries, I'm gonna just order one and hopefully they still have it in stock. Yeah, so I'm so upset because I wasn't gonna do gingerbread thing this year but I have so much gingerbread decorations and i really have not gone christmas shopping like decoration shopping so i'm just going to stick with the gingerbread theme again and yeah so i was like this is the perfect little guy but now he is headless um so anyways i have to get started before people start showing up there's really no one coming but my family um i was i did invite two other people but they can't make it so and I have to go pick up Lily's friend. Lily's friend's gonna come. But anyways, let me show you guys what I need to do. So I'm going to put in here an apple mar apple margarita. So it's like an apple cider margarita. It's gonna go in there. I'm gonna make the kids a little apple cider, sparkling apple cider. Make sure apple cider drink in this pumpkin. It's supposed to be a fall brunch. Um, that's why I didn't put my Christmas tree up yet. <laughs> I'm gonna put some food here. Put some food here on this one as well. We have these glass things for the mimosa bar. This is gonna be for the champagne. Okay, hold on. We got my naked baby over here. I hung up these balloons yesterday for Derek's birthday. Okay, I'm gonna get you some water. Say hi to the vlog. Okay, I'm so sorry. Look at my croissants. They look perfection in my opinion. I'm making the Brussels sprouts now. And what else? I gotta start the eggs.
hypnotized Is there someone else? Will they do me funny? Every day new story She I just ain't waste my time Cause she don't become someone else See if I love her for me You know they touch my body It feels good to love somebody And somebody loves you back But it feels one-sided now It feels one-sided now You don't have to pretend about it Cause it's crystal clear now, now Yes, it's by to the good times I'll be gone by the sunrise I'm out of creamer, so I'm going to add some chocolate creamy milk, which milk is so creamy. This is my last This is my last heartbreak song. Want to warm it up? Yes. But when I have my hair, it's yours. Cheers. Delish. It's good. Yeah. When you stay home from school and you're not sick, sick, you have an earache, you get chocolate muffins. So, here's your breakfast. Thank you. Mm hmm. Hopefully, Saray will. Oh, Saray didn't get out of her chair. Yeah. She doesn't really, she hasn't really eaten. She might be getting sick too. Well, she is sick too. Hey you guys, what's up? Long time, no talk. I know, I have been really slacking on recording and vlogging. And trust me, I really do want to still do, like put out vlogs for you guys. I haven't like completely abandoned YouTube. I have just been focusing on like YouTube shorts and TikTok. But I am gonna get back to vlogging, especially now that the holidays are coming up. And I don't know, I miss, miss, miss vlogging. I miss talking to you guys and letting you guys know what's going on just in general in our life and just sharing and posting. So, and like talking to you guys. So I'm going to get back to it. Um, Lily is home today because she is sick. Um, she has an ear infection. I think Soraya has a stomach bug. I'm pretty positive she does. Jace has a, he's Jace is just fine, which is shocking because he's my kid that's always sick. So he's at school today. Me and Derek went to New Orleans. I think that's how I say it. I'll be like, do you say New Orleans or New Orleans? When I think about it, then I don't know which way to say it. So we went there to celebrate like our birthdays um, this past weekend. And my sister and her boyfriend went. He is from like the Mississippi um, Gulf Coast area. His mom lives in New Orleans now. But um, so we stayed with her and then one of our good friends my sister's best friend from high school she came and we just had a good little time a good little weekend we went out and hung out on bourbon street we went to the saints and browns game um so it was a good time however Derek did get sick like sunday morning at like 2 a.m we thought it was from like you know having he didn't even have too much he had two drinks that whole night and then he got sick was throwing up he was able to pull it together to go to the game but, like, once, like, got third quarter, he said his stomach started doing its, its thing again. And by the end of the game, you guys, he was just, or once the game was over, he was just in the bathroom throwing up, which is crazy, I know. So, um, it wasn't yeah. because of drinking. We think he had, like, bad shrimp that we went, well, someplace we ate. It's called Felix's on Bourbon Street. All of us were fine, but he was, could not stop vomiting until, like, I don't even know what time, but then we ended up going to that, taking him to the ER at 7.30 because his stomach was hurting so bad. It was cramping and like he just couldn't do, like he could not move or do anything. So we had to take him to the ER. They ran all kind of tests. Um, like he was dry heaving and just throwing up stuff that wasn't even there. So yeah, we were in the hospital until 1 a.m. and we had to catch our flight at 5 a.m. They wrote him like a prescription. They are running short, it's a sh national shortage for like IV um, fluid. So they didn't give him an IV. They were waiting to see if we can keep anything down or to all the test results came back. We were like, we got a plane to catch. So they, as they told us everything, they told us he is severely dehydrated. 
was why he's so weak and his stomach well, they ran like tests because his stomach was cramping so they gave him like an ultrasound uh, um a uh what else they do a, a x-ray on his stomach so it was a lot going on y'all so when we got back um we kind of took it easy we slept and relaxed and then he's been feeling better each day but they say like a, they did say like a stomach bug was going around so they weren't really sure if it was a stomach bug or um he had food poisoning we're thinking it was food poisoning because after like 24 hours of it he was fine for the most part so anyways we're back hopefully lily and saraya can get well soon i am going to show you guys what decorations i have done downstairs i started decorating like a week ago but i have not finished just because we got so much going on so i want to finish today so i really need to I have everything out in the living room, like over there in buckets, but I need to get it all out so we can put the buckets away and just enjoy the Christmas vibes. So I'm going to bring you guys along while I finish decorating, show you guys what I still need to do. And what else am I going to get into? That's probably what I'm going to get into today. And then I'm going to wrap this vlog up and start a new vlog because... Hey guys, I just put Saria down for a nap. Lily went upstairs to hang out in her room. Um, I was going to have a Celsius. Derek ordered these. We usually get them at Sam's Club, but they stopped selling the box, like variety box we typically purchase. So uh, he ordered these on Amazon. I got the apple pear and he got the sparkling mango passion fruit. But I am going to try this today instead. The Alani um, Winter Wonderland flavor. I've been wanting to try it. So I got the winter version to see what the flavor tastes like. But really quick, I'm going to show you guys what de decorations we do have up. And we're going to clean off my shelves so I can fully decorate those. And I'm doing this all of my lunch break. So we'll see if I get done because things might get busy at work. We'll see. Let's, but let me show you. Yeah, I haven't started decorating. I just started putting stuff out because uh, I wanted to get it out. And then Soraya was so interested in, in it. So I had to put things in places where she couldn't get them. So I got this gingerbread this year, this gingerbread cookie jar. My coffee pods are in here for now. I think I'm gonna put cocoa in here. But um, I got this at Walmart. I already had these houses. They're broke. One's broke here and a little piece is broke up here. And I still have the pieces. So I'm gonna try to hot glue gun those later this week. And then over here, I'm just keeping this little guy on the counter so I could change the day every day. The kids change it, but I did change it for like my morning um my morning get ready with me for like school routine videos that i put on tiktok so he goes up here got this little um gingerbread person over there Almost above our calendar i didn't technically decorate this like i said i just had to get out the way of soraya so i put our coffee mugs up here for now but i think when i do my cocoa bar i'm gonna move them over by the coffee station i'm not really sure I did get this snowflake um, board from Walmart. I think it was only $10. And then everything else I already had except for the two pink coffee mugs. I got one at Burlington and the other one... Oh, where did I get it? Um, I can't remember. If I remember. Guys, so the kids put up the... Well, we put up the tree. The kids decorated it. We gave our bright colorful starter. That's not match anything, but the kids like it. So I like it for them. I never said I like it. You told me you liked it last year. Last year. You don't like it now? I don't know. Anyways, um, Jace is home from school now, you guys. You guys might see him. But the shelves, I just put stuff up there, like I said, so that Soraya couldn't get to it. But now I'm going to actually take everything off the shelves, put my garland up, and decorate and all of that. So I am going to do a little DIY as well. Um, so, yes. Yeah. Up. Lily's cleaning up Soraya's to toys, so thank you. I clean up after the day. I'm not cleaning up in the middle of the day while Soraya's gonna come back from her nap and destroy. I got my garland up on both sides. I might play with it a little bit to like change the how it's draped because the side's a lot longer hanging down. I want to be more even like this one is. I'm about to do a DIY project with these little 98 cent ribbons I got from Walmart. I saw someone make like a garland with the ribbons so that it's like the anthropology dupe that you buy, whatever. I don't know how much the anthropology one is, but you hot glue the tips together like this. And I wanted to try this trend. I want to make the bow garland 
to go with my green garland on my shelves instead of doing the bowls on the shelves like the cabinets i mean because everybody's doing the bowls in the cabinet so i was like when i saw this I was like let me do this instead i really like it these are only a dollar not even a dollar from walmart in there i think it's gonna look so good we're gonna see but i'm i have high expectations so hopefully it turns out like i'm thinking it will we'll see i got 10 total but i don't even think i need five because my shelves aren't that wide i might do four we'll see Mm -hmm. Two garlands are looking like on each side. I do like it because I do have touches of red in the living room, and then also, of course, the red in the kitchen area. I'm, I'm.